human spaceflight is finally opening up to more than just elite astronauts, all thanks to the incredible SpaceX Crew Dragon. This spacecraft, developed by a private company, marks a significant milestone as the first of its kind to transport humans into space. With the SpaceX Crew Dragon, accessing outer space has never been more accessible, convenient, or cost-effective. Unlike other ventures, such as Virgin Galactic or Blue Origin, which offer brief suborbital flights, the SpaceX Crew Dragon enables journeys into true orbital space. SpaceX and the evolution of Crew Dragon SpaceX, headquartered in Hawthorne, California, has pioneered a breakthrough in human space travel with the development of the Crew Dragon spacecraft. Historically dominated by government agencies with hefty budgets, SpaceX stands as the first private company to challenge this paradigm by independently designing rockets and spacecraft. Notably, NASA has become one of SpaceX's major clients. The International Space Station, ISS, operational since the early 2000s, necessitates continuous staffing by astronauts shuttling to and from the station. Traditionally, Access to the ISS was facilitated by the United States Space Shuttle, or the Russian Soyuz spacecraft. However, following the retirement of the Space Shuttle in 2011, the Soyuz became the sole means of reaching the ISS. Until 2020, the absence of alternative spacecraft for human space travel persisted. This changed dramatically in 2020 with the introduction of the Crew Dragon, marking a pivotal moment in space exploration. The evolution of the Dragon spacecraft further underscores SpaceX's advancements. Initially, Dragon 1 primarily served as a cargo transporter, completing over 20 missions to deliver supplies to the ISS. However, lacking human transportation capabilities, it was succeeded by Dragon 2, featuring both Cargo Dragon and Crew Dragon variants. While Cargo Dragon focuses solely on cargo transport, Crew Dragon is designed to accommodate both crew and cargo, featuring distinct interior design and functionality. Now let's delve into the intricacies of the Crew Dragon, the most captivating aspect of human space exploration. Comprising two distinct sections, the Crew Dragon offers an array of functionalities geared towards safe and efficient space travel. The Capsule At the forefront of Crew Dragon's architecture lies the Capsule, a meticulously engineered pressurized section designed to accommodate human occupants. Within this compartment, astronauts find an environment carefully regulated for comfort and safety, featuring controlled air composition and temperature settings. Throughout the spacecraft's journey, the capsule's nose cone remains sealed during launch, safeguarding its interior until reaching space. Upon achieving orbit, the nose cone unveils a suite of critical components essential for mission operations, exposing sensors, thrusters, and the docking mechanism. The capsule readies itself for rendezvous with the International Space Station, ISS. Notably, the Dragon capsule boasts a total of 16 Draco thrusters strategically positioned to facilitate spacecraft orientation adjustments and orbital maneuvers. A remarkable feature of the Crew Dragon is its inclusion of eight Super Draco engines, meticulously engineered to provide robust propulsion capabilities in emergency scenarios, from launch pad aborts to in-orbit contingencies. These engines stand ready to swiftly propel the capsule and its crew to safety, ensuring mission success and crew well-being. Ensuring the crew's safe return to Earth, the capsule's bottom section incorporates a robust heat shield designed to withstand the intense heat generated during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. While initial design concepts included landing legs for terrestrial touchdowns, logistical considerations prompted SpaceX to opt for water splashdowns, aligning with established NASA protocols. The trunk. Beneath the capsule lies the trunk, a versatile component serving dual purposes of cargo storage and structural support. During the spacecraft's ascent, the trunk's white half features radiator panels responsible for dissipating excess heat generated by onboard systems. Simultaneously, the opposing side of the trunk, adorned in blue, hosts solar panels essential for generating power to sustain the capsule's operations throughout the mission. In a departure from previous designs featuring unfolding solar panels, the Crew Dragon's trunk showcases side-mounted panels, enhancing reliability and ensuring uninterrupted power generation even in the event of a deployment failure. Throughout the mission, the trunk remains firmly attached, providing vital support until nearing the mission's conclusion. Approximately an hour before splashdown, the trunk undergoes detachment from the capsule, initiating its final phase of the mission. Lacking the protection of a heat shield, the trunk succumbs to the intense heat of re-entry, burning up upon entering Earth's atmosphere. This controlled disintegration marks the culmination of its role in facilitating the Crew Dragon's mission objectives highlighting the meticulous planning and engineering prowess, underlying SpaceX's spaceflight endeavors. Venturing inside the Crew Dragon reveals a modern and spacious spacecraft designed to accommodate up to seven astronauts. Although NASA has opted to utilize only four seats, 
reserving additional space for cargo storage beneath. This strategic choice optimizes mission flexibility and cargo capacity. Interior design and seating. The Crew Dragon's interior is a marvel of ergonomic design, featuring customized seats tailored to fit the body of each astronaut. Contrasting with the cramped confines of other spacecraft, such as the Soyuz, the Crew Dragon offers ample room for crew comfort and maneuverability. Upon entering the capsule via the side hatch, astronauts find themselves in a sleek and futuristic environment. The seating arrangement, capable of rotating once occupants are securely strapped in, provides optimal visibility and accessibility to the spacecraft's controls and displays. A defining feature of the Crew Dragon's cockpit is the utilization of three touchscreen displays, representing a departure from the traditional array of physical buttons, knobs, and switches found in previous spacecraft. This streamlined interface allows for intuitive and efficient operation, with most functions managed autonomously by onboard computers. While the touchscreen displays serve as the primary interface for spacecraft control, the inclusion of physical controls provides redundancy in case of touchscreen failure, ensuring operational resilience and crew safety. Reusable design of SpaceX's Crew Dragon. In the unforgiving realm of space exploration, spacecraft are traditionally considered expendable due to the extreme conditions they endure during missions and the challenges associated with re-entry to Earth. This conventional approach results in significant costs as each mission requires the construction of a new spacecraft. However, SpaceX has defied this norm with the innovative design of the Crew Dragon capsule, engineered for reusability. Unlike traditional spacecraft, which are typically discarded after a single use, the Crew Dragon is built to endure multiple missions, significantly reducing the financial burden associated with space travel. Each Crew Dragon vehicle is assigned a unique serial number and name, highlighting its individual identity within SpaceX's fleet. As of February 2023, several Crew Dragon capsules have completed multiple flights, with Endeavour notably flown three times. The monumental shift towards reusability was solidified in May 2020, when the Crew Dragon made history by transporting two NASA astronauts to the International Space Station (ISS). Since then, the Crew Dragon has undertaken numerous missions, including flights with civilian passengers aboard, such as the Inspiration mission and missions conducted by private space company Axiom Space. This paradigm shift towards reusable spacecraft marks a transformative moment in the space industry, ushering in a new era of cost-effective and sustainable space exploration. From assembly to launch, Launching atop the Falcon 9 rocket, crafted by SpaceX and named in homage to the Millennium Falcon from Star Wars, the Crew Dragon embarks on its journey from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, specifically from Launch Complex 39A. This historic site, renowned for hosting some of the most iconic launches, now serves as the staging ground for SpaceX's pioneering missions. Unlike traditional vertical rollout methods employed by NASA, SpaceX adopts a horizontal integration approach. At the adjacent horizontal integration facility, the Falcon 9 rocket and Crew Dragon are meticulously assembled in a horizontal position before being carefully maneuvered atop the transporter erector. Gradually, the assembly is elevated to a vertical position, a process that typically spans several hours. In contrast, the Russian Soyuz rocket adheres to a long-standing tradition of horizontal transport a method established since the 1960s. However, SpaceX's horizontal integration technique presents a departure from conventional practices in the United States. On launch day, astronauts don their SpaceX spacesuits and embark on a unique journey to the launch pad aboard a Tesla Model X, paying homage to Elon Musk's dual leadership at SpaceX and Tesla. Upon arrival, astronauts ascend the fixed service structure via elevator and traverse the crew access arm, culminating in the white room. Here, technicians assist with crew ingress, facilitating the astronaut's entry into the Dragon capsule. Within the capsule, four seats await the commander, pilot, and two mission specialists. As the crew assumes their positions, reclining comfortably for launch, the commander and pilot prepare to navigate using the three touchscreen displays. Approximately two hours before liftoff, the crew completes their pre-launch preparations. At T45 minutes, the crew access arm retracts, signaling the final stages of launch preparation. 35 minutes before liftoff, propellant loading commences, marking a critical milestone in the countdown to launch. The Falcon 9 rocket features two stages. The first stage, powered by nine Merlin 1D engines, launches the rocket into space, while the second stage, propelled by a single Merlin vacuum engine, completes the journey into orbit. Although the first stage is reusable, significantly reducing costs, the second stage remains expendable, 
SpaceX aims for complete reusability across all stages in the future. Liftoff. During liftoff, controllers often use the term nominal to indicate that everything is proceeding as planned. At 2 minutes and 40 seconds into the flight, the first stage shuts off in a maneuver known as main engine cutoff, MECO, and separates from the rocket. The second stage ignites to propel the spacecraft into orbit around the Earth. Meanwhile, the first stage begins its descent back to Earth, employing cold gas thrusters to reorient itself in a maneuver called the flip maneuver. Grid fins aid in stabilizing the descent as the stage returns over the ocean, where a drone ship awaits its arrival. To slow down through the atmosphere, the first stage performs an entry burn, utilizing three of its Merlin engines. Just before touchdown, another engine ignites for the landing burn, and the landing legs are deployed for a controlled touchdown on the drone ship. Once recovered, the drone ship returns to Florida, enabling the first stage to be refurbished and reused for future missions. Orbit insertion. During its ascent, the second stage of the rocket, known as the Falcon 9, is responsible for placing the Dragon spacecraft into orbit around the Earth, a critical maneuver termed orbit insertion. At approximately 8 minutes and 50 seconds into the flight, the second stage engine cuts off, referred to as second engine cutoff, SECO. Following this, the second stage separates from the spacecraft. Unlike the first stage, the second stage is not reusable and instead descends back to Earth, where it ultimately burns up in the atmosphere. Meanwhile, the Dragon spacecraft operates independently, with its nose cone opening to reveal the docking hatch, sensors and thrusters. Astronauts aboard the Dragon experience weightlessness for the first time as they orbit the Earth. Upon reaching orbit, the Dragon spacecraft begins the process of rendezvousing with the International Space Station, ISS, a journey typically spanning around 24 hours. Utilizing Draco thrusters, the spacecraft adjusts its orbit and closes the distance to the station. To successfully dock with the ISS, spacecraft employ one of two methods, berthing or docking. Berthing versus docking. Discussing the two primary methods of spacecraft attachment at the International Space Station ISS, we differentiate between berthing and docking procedures, highlighting their respective characteristics and operational aspects. Berthing, exemplified by the original Dragon spacecraft, Dragon 1, involves the station's robotic arm reaching out to capture the spacecraft, facilitating its alignment and attachment to the ISS. In contrast, docking, as performed by Crew Dragon, enables the spacecraft to autonomously approach and connect with the ISS without reliance on external assistance. The Dragon spacecraft typically docks at the front of the station, specifically at Node 2 or the Harmony module, where the pressurized mating adapters, PMAs, are located. Among the PMAs, PMA1 is positioned centrally, while PMA2 and PMA3 occupy the front section. The integration of the International Docking Adapter, IDA, enables Crew Dragon to utilize a newer docking mechanism allowing for docking at two different locations on the ISS. Preceding docking maneuvers, Crew Dragon extends the soft capture ring and proceeds through a series of waypoints in space to ensure proper alignment and spacecraft integrity. Starting from waypoint zero, located 400 meters below the ISS, and progressing to waypoint one, positioned 220 meters directly in front of the station, the spacecraft aligns along the docking axis before advancing to waypoint two, situated 20 meters in front of the docking port. During the final approach, Draco thrusters maintain alignment with the station, and once confirmed, the spacecraft proceeds to dock at a slow rate of a few centimeters per second. At a distance of five meters from the docking port, the chop phase initiates, enabling onboard computers to manage any necessary abort maneuvers autonomously. Subsequent to docking, the soft capture ring makes contact with the station, facilitating the process of soft capture. Once confirmed, the spacecraft undergoes hard capture as the ring retracts, and 12 hooks latch securely, completing the docking procedure. This meticulous process ensures a safe and successful connection between Crew Dragon and the ISS, facilitating crew transfer and collaborative endeavors in space exploration.